if you ask me to name businesses that were half ruined or ruined by bloat, I mean, I could just rattle off name after name after name. It's gotten fashionable to assume that downsizing is wrong. Well, it may have been wrong to let the business get so fat that it eventually had to downsize. Life is a whole series of opportunity costs. Uh, you know, you got to marry the best person who is convenient to find who'll have you. you know, it's, <laughs> it, it, investment is much the same sort of a process. All you succeed in doing in your life is to get early rich from passive holding of little bits of paper. And you get better and better at only that for all your life. It's a failed life. Life is more than being shrewd at passive wealth accumulation. I think that takes a certain amount of what an old Omaha friend used to call uncommon sense. He used to say there is no common sense. When people say common sense, they mean uncommon sense. If you make yourself a very reliable person and stay reliable all your life, faithfully doing whatever you engage to do, it will be very hard for you to fail at anything you want. As sure as God made little green apples, this is going to cause a lot of trouble in due course. As long as it keeps expanding and ballooning and so on, and the convulsions are minor, it can just go on and on. But eventually, there will be a big, a big uh, denouement. They say, well, the whole secret of investment is diversification. That's the mantra. They've got it exactly back asward. The whole secret of investment is to find places where it's safe and wise to non-diversify. It's just that simple. Diversification is for the know-nothing investor. It's not you, for the professional. If you think your IQ is 160 and it's 150, you're a disaster. <laughs> you know, much better a guy with 130 that's operating well within himself. It's pragmatism. We've had enough good sense when something is working very well to keep doing it. So I'd say we, we're demonstrating what might be called the, fun, the fundamental algorithm of life. Repeat what works. Well, the main problem was that as things got crazier and crazier, the government could have intervened by pulling away the punch bowl before everybody was totally drunk. And instead, the government increased the proof. And this was not a good idea. But you, it's hard to get governments in a democracy to be pulling away the punch bowl from voters who want to get drunk. Some of the stuff, you'll find an activist who is not what you'd want to marry into the family, going after a company you would never buy into. And when that happens, it reminds me of Oscar Wilde's definition of fox hunting. He said, the pursuit of the uneatable by the unspeakable. <laughs> Reputation you get over a long period of time. Very few people are like Charles Lindbergh, where you just suddenly have a great reputation. Most of us have to acquire one very slowly, and that was true in Berkshire's case. And in any individual, you just have to get the best reputation you can in the years you're allotted and in the time uh, available. And it may work out well, it may work out poorly, but it's a, it's a wise investment. I see all the time opportunities come to people where it's, their, it's the credibility they've gotten in the past that causes them to have the new opportunity. So I think hardly anything is more important than behaving well as you go through.